hate all right what else is new <sighs> how many times am i gonna be canceled how many times that's what i want to know i literally took so much time out of my day to plan this video i mean i really put so much work into it i think the best thing about this video is i hate barrel racers so much that i've been waiting my entire life to just sit down and bitch and that's what this video is going to be but i'm going to break it down i'm going to break it down into multiple sections of why i hate barrel racing and why you should not support barrel racing no matter what Barrel racing is not just cruel, but it also promotes bad riding, bad ethics, and bad horsemanship. Not to mention that it is definitely an animal welfare issue and concern. But before we get to it, thank you so much to Link Equestrian for sponsoring this video. If you're unfamiliar, it is my own personal animal activist clothing apparel brand. We actually have an anti-barrel racing design, which I love so much. I design all of these myself. I am the artist of my own clothing. So head on over to linkequestrian.com if you're interested. But otherwise, bitch, let's get to it. I know before I even get into this that I'm gonna have so many barrel racers in the comment section who say to me but Raleigh I'm a barrel racer and I don't treat my horses bad and I actually care about my equitation I care about my riding I care about my horses biomechanics I care about how he moves and his health and I care about doing other things with him instead of just running him in circles that's fucking great I'm so happy for you that you are one of the 1% of barrel racers that actually treat treat your animals well, congratulations. But honestly, when the overwhelming majority treat their animals like shit and are inherently abusive, then I'm going to lump it all together. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way, bitch. That way you don't even have to comment it down below. Stop saying that barrel racing is no more abusive than any other equestrian sport because that is like the biggest lie any equestrian has ever told. Firstly, we've got to talk about my top five reasons on why you should not support barrel racing. Let's go. Number one, the tack. Almost all barrel horses have badly fitted tack, badly fitted saddles, they wear tie downs, they've got these giant shank bits, the riders whip and kick them around in this ill fitted tack. I mean, it's honestly so incredible and unbelievable to see how many barrel racers don't even know how to fit their tack properly to their horses. 
almost every single video that you can watch online of barrel racing, go to any rodeo or look at any photo on Google, the vast majority of barrel racers have saddles that do not fit their horses. Almost all of these riders are lacking knowledge in equestrianism. They don't even know the basics of fitting tack properly, which is something that you learn when you're probably five years old and you start taking lessons. So the fact that the majority of barrel racers, there is such a low barrier to entry that they don't even need to know how to fit tack properly, huge red flag. Again, the vast majority of tack that barrel racers use is not only cruel and abusive, but it just doesn't make sense. Why the fuck do so many barrel racers race their horses in tie downs? Oh, maybe it's because all of their horses rear and instead of actually training them correctly and solving the problem, they think they're just gonna solve it by putting a tie down on them because their horses are crazy. But this brings me to my reason number two why barrel racing sucks and you should not support it. And it is the fact that barrel racers are not equestrians. They do not know hardly anything about their own horses. That's why they don't fit their tack properly. That's why these horses are fucking crazy in the head because all they do is run around in circles. And you'll see these riders in photos, these riders are so horribly off balance, it's embarrassing. Seeing how these riders actually sit on their horses and run them around, it's it's honestly crazy to me the lack of equitation that almost every single barrel racer has. It's really depressing to think that these people actually own horses. And again, if you don't believe me, go to literally any barrel racing event ever and you will see bad equitation, bad riders, girls who have the worst balance in the history of riding. Reason number three, bitch. <sighs> Stop kicking your horses and whipping your horses. Every barrel racer kicks their horse violently, like starfish kicks them, which is abusive. Starfish kicking is incredibly abusive. And not to mention, there are studies showing that kicking your horse with or without spurs does not actually make them go faster and actually encourages lifelong problems and causes them a serious amount of pain. One veterinarian even said that a lot of barrel racers like to say that the spurs are okay because they use dull spurs, but that's the difference between using a nail versus using a hammer. The spurs used in barrel racing are blunt, not sharp. But blunt hurts is bad or worse than sharp. It's the difference between poking your finger with a needle or hitting it with a hammer. The spurs are slammed hard. Due to the distance between the spur and the belly, the slam would easily exceed 30 pounds. Barrel racing has also been plagued by charges that horses are being drugged, both to enhance their performance and to cover up injuries. Of course, covering up injuries with drugs only exacerbates the damage. While some contestants have long pushed for drug testing, this is largely resisted by the big money people in the event. And I think it's hilarious that a lot of the barrel racing organizations have laws and regulations against whipping and kicking, excessive whipping and kicking. This one's pretty funny. It says, excessive whipping and spurring are off limits, as well as striking the horse's face with anything other than your hand. So you're telling me that you can hit the horse in the face as long as it's with your hand? I mean, dude, you honestly, this is hilarious. It's so funny that these are actual rules. Like, yes, you can hit your horse in the face, you guys. You can smack your horse in the face. Totally legal to smack your horse in the face at a barrel event. Congrats. But also, they don't take any of these rules seriously. When have you ever been to a barrel racing event where they're not excessively whipping, kicking, and spurring their horses? Like, what? I've never been to a barrel racing event that they weren't doing that at. Yep, 
Most barrel racers rely exclusively on their hands because their balance is so poor that they could literally just fall off the side at the drop of a hat if they didn't have a big horn to hold on to. When they're not relying on the horn for balance, they're relying on the reins for balance. And you see these horses just get their heads ripped off. And not to mention, they do such tight turns around the circles, yanking their horses' heads around with these giant bits. It's honestly really disgusting. And it's just sad. <laughs> What are we on? I don't even know. Reason number four, maybe. The horses are treated like shit, which is honestly the biggest reason. These horses almost exclusively just run circles around barrels. There are very, very, very few barrel racers that I know who actually take their horses out and treat them like real horses and give them a real life. Most barrel racers just run their horses around in circles. And then I love it how they'll say, well, my horse would run barrels with or without me. Yeah, probably because he's fucking psychotic now. Because all you've done with him his whole life is run him in circles. So that's all he knows how to do. So if you put him out in an arena with barrels, that's probably all he's gonna do because he's crazy. That's not a good thing. Running in circles is not natural for horses and it causes a lot of problems, not just with their musculoskeletal system, but also psychologically speaking. And that is exactly why you see when you go to barrel racing events, horses that are so touchy and sensitive and crazy and wired when they're being walked up to the barrel race arena, they, they don't even walk correctly to go in there. They're so overstimulated. Some barrel horses Horses even rear, they buck, they kick. They are just wired to just run constantly in circles. You see this a lot, especially at the professional barrel racing events, where when they're leading the horses up, the horses are crazy. That's not a good thing, okay? Coming from somebody in vet school, when you see a horse that's that nervous and that anxious to go do something, that's not a good thing. That is a horse that has been psychologically conditioned to only do one thing ever. Go, I've always said barrel racing is one of the most abusive sports. There's no standards. There's no nothing. They use big bits. They use spurs. They kick the crap out of the horse. They usually tie down the horse. I mean, I don't even know why it's called a sport. It's no different than rodeo or bullfighting as far as I'm concerned. I don't even know which one I'm on. I don't even know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could go on for my entire life, okay? But we're gonna end on number five, which is barrel racing just does not promote good ethics. You see riders that are taught to hate other women in the sport. I grew up barrel racing and I literally was taught that other women were my enemy. I needed to dominate the horses, whip them and kick them around and whatever, nothing else mattered but getting a good time. That type of mentality is not only bad sportsmanship, that's also why barrel racers hate other barrel racers is because there is a competitive mentality that's actually incredibly toxic within the community and they treat their horses is like nothing but a piece of machinery on top of the fact that they treat other barrel racers like dog shit and they are super toxic super anti-sportsmanship they are just disgustingly competitive for no reason at all and you'll even hear this complaint among other barrel racing women is that they hate other barrel racing women the whole environment is just incredibly toxic and i don't think that it's good for women and i don't think it's good for horses but let's finish this video off by talking about a few important studies that I think really are going to hammer home why you should not support barrel racing. A research study was conducted using the medical records of 118 barrel racing horses. In this study, the five most common musculoskeletal problems were foot pain, osteoarthritis of the lower hock joints, suspensory ligament injuries, foot pain and osteoarthritis of the lower hock joints, and bruised feet. Many riders even see their horses refusing to turn on the first barrel because they want to avoid pain associated with forelimb lameness. That's not all. Believe it or not, you can literally Google so many veterinary studies on 
injured barrel racing horses. The list is so incredibly long that I could not include even half of the studies that I found on one day of research. Research has shown that nearly 50% of competitive barrel horses could be performing with some degree of lameness, specifically relating to the fetlock joint. And a study conducted several radiographic abnormalities associated in forelimb fetlocks of high performing barrel horses were noticed. Most horses examined in this study were more likely to display external signs of lameness on the right forelimb than the left. However, radiographic evidence showed more abnormalities of the left. And another study, radiographic abnormalities in barrel racing horses with lameness. Of the horses examined, 47% were lame with scores ranging from one to four. Half of the lame horses, 15 of 30, had grade two, lameness of the right forelimb, Basically, the conclusion of this study is that the majority of barrel racing horses have mild to moderate lameness, which is not really a good sign. Barrel racing is one of the most popular uses of the American quarter horse in North and South America, with approximately $14 million awarded annually in prize money. However, this popularity takes a heavy toll on horses most commonly resulting in forelimb lameness. I think what's so depressing about all of these studies is the fact that the majority of these barrel horses that are lame keep running. And I think it's because barrel racers are so out of touch with reality that they don't understand the difference between a sound horse and a lame horse, even if it's just subtly lame. What, does the horse have to literally be dragging its leg for you guys to understand that it's lame? Probably. The average barrel racer, if you can't even fit your tack correctly onto your horse, then you're definitely not gonna be able to see subtle signs of lameness in your horses. But you know what? The last thing I'm gonna read to you is probably one of the wisest things I've ever seen a barrel racer say in my entire life. Barrel racing is a high speed precision sport that requires much skill. Hence the reason for the bad reputation. Too many people doing it without training and making a holy old mess out of it. So true, so true. And I think that's the perfect quote to end my final thoughts on. Is the problem barrel racing the activity itself? No. If barrel racers actually had to follow the standards of any other equestrian sport, then I don't think anyone would have a problem with barrel racing. The problem is that there is such a low barrier to entry that anyone and their mother can buy a cheap horse off Craigslist for $500 and run it around in circles in an arena. It takes literally no skill or talent at all to be able to just get a horse going as fast as possible and hold on and yank their face around. That's not talent. And anybody who wants to act like it is, is wrong. Almost all barrel horses are hollow. Almost all barrel horses are lacking muscle. Almost all barrel horses are crazy mentally. Almost all barrel horses are off balance. I, I could literally continue the list on and on and on with how many issues barrel horses have and the lack of equitation and the lack of training and knowledge among barrel racers themselves. But I don't think I need to because the problem is not barrel racing itself as the activity. The problem is the riders. You're the problem. You. All the barrel racers out there right now that have tack that doesn't fit, that whip their horses repeatedly, that starfish kick their horses or use spurs or both, all the barrel racers that do nothing but run their horses around in circles, all the barrel racers that think that it's okay to treat other women like shit, have poor sportsmanship, and um, literally not work on their equitation or their balance at all. You're the problem. You. You're the one who makes barrel racing look bad, not anyone else. Because the thing is, people hate barrel racing for a reason. Where there's smoke, there's fire. So if you want people to actually respect barrel racing and treat barrel racing like a real sport, then you have to start treating your animals better. You have to start caring about the quality of life of your animals. You have to stop using abusive tack and fit it correctly. And you've got to actually be a decent human being that cares about your animals and cares about the other people competing in the sport. I also feel like it's just so obvious. Barrel racers are like, I don't know why people hate me so much. They hate you because you suck. 
because all of you guys play the victim. Oh my god, people just hate on barrel racers. No, they hate on you for a reason, okay? The sooner you acknowledge it, the sooner you could actually try to make your sport respectable. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like or dislike, I'd love to hear your feedback down below. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in my next video, bitch. Bye.